Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington, and today I had somebody named Ronnie hit me up, and he asked me to do something a little different for him. He said he wanted me to paint his turntable. So this is a disassembled turntable. It's made by a super awesome company called U-Turn. They make really awesome turntables. He's actually like labeled all the the little spots for me, and he wants me to paint this, and I think that's pretty cool. I'm like super down. I'm really excited to see it done and put back together and see if freaking see it spinning <laughs> so I'm gonna try and paint this thing it's really smooth so I'm gonna see if I can prepare it and make it a little bit more paintable uh, but yeah I'm excited I'm gonna paint this turntable and hopefully you're gonna watch who knows where to begin this is gonna be a fun one hopefully so I'm gonna try rubbing this thing down with a little bit of acetone to remove any finish that they put on it. And then I might even sand it a little bit because I'm just not sure what this surface is all about. So we'll give that a whirl. So after I hit it with the acetone and sanded the surface a little bit, mixed up some gesso here and dropped some gesso on here. And then after the first coat, kind of sanded it down to make it smooth again. And then added another coat of gesso and then sanded that down as well. So Roni said I could just kind of paint. I'm not sure if it's Roni. His name is spelled R-O-N-Y, and I'm not sure if it's Roni, Ronnie. Maybe I'll just call him Roni Ronnie. So Roni Ronnie said I could just kind of paint whatever I wanted, and I just sort of started pencil sketching this one and just sort of freestyled it and didn't really have much of a plan except for that, you know, it's on a turntable, so maybe I wanted it to be like a little bit musical, a little bit vibey, and just kind of started pencil sketching straight on the gesso. Super fun, kind of just sky's the limit on this one, so I just went for it. Finished kind of gessoing this and then freehanded the pencil sketch onto the turntable. So this is kind of my concept art. And now it's time to start painting. I think I'm gonna hit it with like a red wash first just to kind of tone the background of a kind of warm red color and then start painting and see how it goes. It's looking cool so far, I think, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, paint the turntable, you turn. So I watered down my paint so I can still see my pencil sketch lines even though I put red over everything. So it should be all good to be able to keep keep my guide. Yeah, step one. On this painting, I'm using my go-to Golden Brand Fluid Acrylics. Golden, where you at with that sponsorship? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just using Golden Brand Fluid Acrylics and a little bit of water, some from time to time mixed in with them, and also some Golden Satin Fluid Glazing Liquid. It's like some pretty cool stuff. You can kind of mix it into your paint. If you just use a tiny bit, it'll kind of smooth out your paint a little bit. And if you use a lot, it'll make it really transparent and you can do these like glazes and washes with it. I love that stuff. So when I started this project, I actually did something I've never done before. I shot a quick email over to U-Turn and I was like, hey, uh, I'm painting one of your turntables. Uh, my name's Ten Hundred. I'm an artist. Here's my YouTube channel. And they actually got back to me super fast and were really excited about the project. To my total shock, they're actually gonna send me one of their top of the line turntables. Like I'm super excited. I have kind of an old janky turntable at Statics, but me and wifey have been wanting an, a really sexy, sleek, elegant turntable for the house and U-Turn came at the perfect time. U-Turn is a super rad turntable maker. They make all their stuff in the United States, in Woodburn, Massachusetts. If you check out their website, it's pretty awesome because they have this like fully customizable option where you can choose like the color, the finish, the platter, the needle, like a bunch of different stuff that you can like build your own turntable. I really like them because they have this like elegant design, quality craftsmanship. They're just like super sexy, super sleek, super minimal. Like you just look like a fancy mofo <laughs> with this thing on your show. They have this sort of philosophy that's like performance first. So they put a lot of their focus in the actual like sound components, the things that actually make the music sound good. That's where they're really focusing their attention. So thank you so much to U-Turn. Like, I just kind of cold call them and I was just like, hey, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a weird artist. And they were like super hyped. So this video is kind of brought to you by U-Turn, but kind of not. 
I was gonna do this project anyway, but now this commission just got a hell of a lot cooler. So thank you so much, U-Turn. You guys are red. I've been painting a lot of non-traditional objects lately and it's super fun to like stretch outside of that just like here's a canvas, here's a panel and make some art that like also has a function to paint a turntable. Not only is it beautiful art to look at hopefully but it also provides beautiful music and it's just like the whole experience. So these kind of projects are super fun to me. I love it. It's awesome. I signed a whole bunch of prints today. I mean, I signed like hundreds yesterday because I have like a helper now who ships my stuff out. I used to sign each print when I got an order for one and then ship it out. But now I need to sign a whole bunch ahead of time so that my helper can like just ship them out when I get orders for them. <sighs> it's kind of grueling, but got to do it. times when clients tell me like oh just do whatever you want it like makes me super nervous because I you know I like things the way I like things but I might not like things the way you like things you know I've said in past videos like when clients give me instructions like I don't mind it it just means that I'm more likely to make something that they think is dope but I met Roni Ronnie and he came in and dropped off this u-turn turntable to me and he seemed like just a pure genuine fan and he's really cool dude so i feel pretty comfortable with the whole like just do whatever you want thing i'm feeling the way this one's coming together i think it's fun i think it's gonna look really cool when it's put together like i legitimately can't wait to see this thing put together so just gonna keep painting and uh doing my thing <laughs> Alright, so I think it's like the third day painting on this thing and I've listened to like one and a half audiobooks and just been painting non-stop. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to finish up by the end of today and then tomorrow varnish it and just kind of prep it to drop off to, to Roni Ronnie and uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how far I can get today. I'm hoping to be done by the time I just get like super dead and sleepy. So day three, I'm going to be me and kick it real deep and flip the script and then go to sleep and count some sheep. <laughs> My rap career is over. <laughs> So, just finished the turntable. This is super badass <laughs> custom U-turn turntable. So now I'm gonna hit it with some varnish. Basically gonna be using this golden polymer varnish, satin kind. It's cool, it protects the art, and it's got UV ultraviolet filters and light stabilizers, so it like makes it so your art won't fade. I'm pretty low on this stuff. Hopefully I have enough to do this turntable. So yeah, gonna varnish it. And then actually while the varnish dries, I also wanna make like a, a little custom record for uh, Roni as well and paint that up real quick. It'll be just a quick fun one. Something to kind of maybe sit on the turntable when he gets sick of looking at this he can put on another piece of art so I'll do that too. So I like to usually lift it up off the table when I'm varnishing so I'll just take this random box I have and just kind of do that and that way if the when the varnish dries it won't like dry it to the table. <laughs> It'll kind of like drip off the edges. This is my messy paint table so should be all good.
There is not a ton of varnish. Might have to go buy more of this. So I thought I had a pile of like junk records floating around in the house, but now I can't find any. So I'm gonna run to Half Price Books and see if I can find a 99 cent record that I can paint real quick. We out here, yeah. This place is awesome. Cool, so I got this one. It's the first one I grabbed, cover is pretty awesome. These guys look like they're having a good time. I didn't even check the record, but I think it'll be okay. The Oak Ridge Boys. That guy's tiny scarf is pretty awesome. <laughs> what is that scarf doing? That scarf ain't doing nothing. Sweet, looking sweet, super sweet. So this thing is dry, so I'm gonna just go ahead and paint on it. So I made this <laughs> fun little, quick little painting for Roni Rani, sort of this Ouroboros, and I thought it would look kind of fun while it was spinning. So we'll give him that as a little bonus just for being a cool dude and for commissioning a piece of art for me. So uh, tomorrow, meet up with Roni Rani, put the turntable back together, and see what it looks like when it's all done. And I'm super excited. So yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, just about to head down to Statics to meet up with Roni Roni and get this thing put back together. Get it spinning, get it turning, get it tabling, and uh, I'm excited. Time to hit the road. That's about all I can say. Burn. All right, so Roni Roni is here. First and foremost, how do you pronounce it, man? Roni, yeah. Roni, all right, so Roni is here. Here is your new turntable. What do you think, man? It's awesome. Thank you, I love it. <laughs> Sweet, I'm glad you like it. So yeah, we're gonna put this thing together and try to turn this slab of wood back into a super dope U-turn turntable. So where do we start, man? We, um, I was thinking about starting in the center, you know, trying to work our way, our way around. So this is where like the platter the spinner platter spin. thing. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, so that's right here. Lines up perfect. This is cool too, because I get to see like what parts of my art are gonna get covered up yeah, by the hardware. Yeah. I see that it's not gonna be a whole lot, so it's, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I think uh, the art was placed correctly in the right areas. the red would be popping. All right, so the turntable is put together. It looks so, so dope. It looks better than I imagined. I'm super happy with how it came out. What do you think? Oh, it's it's awesome. It's cool. But I noticed that when the, the platter is spinning, you can't really tell that it's spinning because it's clear. So there's actually one more little thing I wanted to give to you, Ronnie. This is like a little bonus. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but awesome. 
It looks like this on the outside, but on the inside, I went ahead and uh, painted you this vinyl. Oh. <laughs> So that's for you. Oh my goodness. I thought it would be kind of fun, like this spinning awesome. around, yeah. like eating its own tail. So I kind of, can we pop that on oh, there? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, hold on. Oh man. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love it. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's sick. That is awesome. <laughs> man. Uh, I mean, you thought about everything. <laughs> All right, that is it. Made this super awesome U-turn turntable and this fun little extra piece of vinyl. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can even ring the bell if you wanna know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thank you so much U-turn for hooking it up on the turntable. That's super awesome of you. And uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon. We got a bunch of cool stuff going on over there. There's like monthly Q and A's, there's podcasts, there's the Discord chatting with the homies and there's a bunch of fun stuff going on over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. If you want to check out any more of my t-shirts or hoodies or hats or leggings or skateboards or prints or any of that fun stuff, you can find it all on 1000art.com. Thank you guys so much. It's been rad. What a fun project. I'll see you on the next one. We out. Peace. <laughs>